with the installation of the powerful Savox servo in order to make sure the servo is receiving consistent power and reduce any glitches we need to install this, the Castle Creations BEC. Commonly referred to as glitch busters and originally used with Arial RC models, cheaper versions are available, but the Castle Creations BEC is probably one of the best out there due to the flexibility it provides with various options and setups tailored to your RC vehicle. Physically it's quite a simple contraption, positive and negative wires at one end that tap into your RC's battery to feed power to the BEC, along with a connector at the opposite end for connecting into your RC gear. Note the long cable considering this needs to be installed as far from the radio receiver as possible, which we'll come to shortly. Before we install the BEC into our RC vehicle though, we need to program the unit, namely the voltage output which is set to 5.1 volts by default. We can use the Castle Creations software to do this, a free download from the Castle Creations website for Windows only computers and following a simple installation we're ready to go. Well, not quite. In order to physically connect the BEC to the computer we need this, the Castle Link USB Programming Kit. Considering it consists of a micro USB to USB cable and a small converter module, it's a rather expensive accessory so if you can find a friend who has one you can borrow I'd recommend that. Nevertheless with the BEC connected to one side and the supplied USB cable connected to the other, we can proceed to connect to a computer where it's recognised by the software. Here we can view current firmware and apply updates, although all we need to do for now is set the voltage output and I'll go with 6.5 for now which should be ok for the servo we have installed, and apply the changes. We can now remove the BEC unit and proceed to physically install into our slash. And when it comes to installation start by deciding where you want the physical unit to sit. Considering it needs to be away from the receiver and we have a nice long cable, I'm going to go with the opposite side next to the main battery, somewhere around here would be good. So we'll start by attaching our power wires to the battery power cables. We have to solder these together so I'm going to pull both ends out of the Traxxas connector and I'll remove a few millimetres of plastic from each end before soldering the BEC wires into place. With some heat shrink also applied we can go ahead and push the connectors back into the Traxxas plug. The BEC unit will sit here so using some double sided sticky tape secure it to the inner edge of the chassis. Now we have the power side of our BEC sorted, all that's left is to connect the other end. At the moment the servo is connected directly to the receiver for both commands and power. In essence we want the servo to receive commands from the receiver but it's power through the BEC. Normally this would require a little more cable management to remove power cables from connectors and so on but to keep this neat and simple I suggest an RX bypass adapter such as this where everything is done for you. Start by removing the two screws from the receiver wire plate and the two screws holding the receiver top cover in place. Now we have access we remove the servo connector and in its place we insert the bypass adapter. After which we can replace the receiver box top cover and the cable cover, leaving us with the two connections now from the adapter, the red and black wires connecting to the BEC, leaving the final connector for the servo itself. What we have now is the servo receiving power and signals as normal but the red power wire is routed across to the BEC rather than the receiver. Finally tidy up the newly installed wires as and how you desire, you can see my example here. The BEC is taking power directly from the connected battery and routing around the other way towards the bypass cable used near the receiver box, to connect to the receiver as well as the servo. When complete simply power up your transmitter and the vehicle itself and test your steering to ensure all is working as it should. And we're all done. The Castle Creations BEC is now installed and the servo will operate at its peak performance. If programming of the BEC is necessary at any time, we can simply unplug thanks to that easy bypass adapter, a neat overall solution and concluding the entire steering system upgrade. In our next upgrade we'll move on to wheels and suspension.